on point number three of my six step process in challenging your current state of status quo. And that step is challenging, actually called challenge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna challenge our current um, state of where we're feeling and how we're feeling in, in, a, in three steps. And what that is, is that is questioning and looking at the factors such as our emotions, our social surroundings, and then our spirituality. So those three key components that greatly impact ourselves and how we play out our lives. I'm gonna talk a little bit about each one of those, but just to bring some perspective into this, we have covered our phone, assessing where you are at the moment, which is incredibly important because how do we move forward if we don't know where we are? Then we touched on discovering who we were at our core as a person. Now what I want you to do is think about challenging yourself and the external factors that may be either holding you back and not allowing you to kick status quo in the butt once and for all. So let's start with the emotional factors that may be holding you back. And we need to challenge these. What I mean by challenge is we need to unearth them. We need to dig deep. So a lot of this work that I do is incredibly powerful, but incredibly difficult to do because it, basically I'm asking you to dig deep and think about things that you don't do on a daily basis. Because let's face it, unless someone asks you, it's not like you sit around wondering what the emotional factors are that are holding you back and keeping you stuck. Life is busy, so we're in the do, we're in the doing space all the time and we're not in the reflection space. So I'm putting you in a space where I'm asking you to reflect. And so it's gonna require a little bit of your time, but let me tell you, it's time well spent and it's incredibly important if you want to truly break out of where you are right now. And only you can do this. Nobody else can do this for you. So let me cut straight to the chase and talk about you and your emotions that make up who you are and how you act out your life. So I want you to ask yourself, what are the most powerful emotions that you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis that is keeping you in this current state of status quo? Is it the emotion of obligation? Are they the emotions that, you, that were ingrained in you as you were growing up? This is our value set, right? So were you raised to believe that you were the, 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 the most important component of your family and without you, nothing could progress forward and therefore everything will fall apart if mum doesn't hold it all together and therefore you're too scared? Or that emotion is actually subconsciously holding you back from exploring, discovering, or allowing yourself to be an individual as well. Let me tell you something about that. My eldest is 16 this year and my youngest just turned 12. And I had my kids later in life and I guess that's probably why I try and hang on to my individuality and myself as a person. So you'll hear me quite often if you hang around my place saying mummy is a person too. And I want you to think deeply about that because before you were a mum and before you were a wife and before you were anything else, you were you. And being you gives you the power to be yourself. Never ever forget that in this equation. It's incredibly important to stand strong in your own conviction as an individual because you are a person in your own right before you became anything else. So I'm asking you to do that for yourself and to stand in that space. It's incredibly important and incredibly liberating. And in order to do that, you need to ask these questions of yourself. You need to dig a little bit deeper. It may be uncomfortable and you might not like what's coming up, but you're gonna have to face it because without that frustration, without that discomfort, there's no progress. Again, what is it? It's same, same, it's comfort. It's status quo, yeah? If it's making you uncomfortable, great. That means I'm pressing some buttons. So question the emotions that are holding you back. Question and try and ask yourself, what emotions do I actually need to have to break out of this cycle and forge forward? What are the things that are holding me back and what are the emotions that I need to move forward? Okay, so the second part of the challenging is we need to look at our social surroundings because we are social creatures, yeah? So we are designed to connect. We love the connection piece. And because we are social um, uh, beings, 
We are part of families, we are part of work organisations, we are part of all sorts of things. You know, as Aussies, we love our sport and we have hobbies and all sorts of gatherings. In those social relationships and the ones that are the most powerful are obviously the ones at home, are those relationships holding you back or are they enabling you to move forward? An interesting thing happens when most people or when some people decide that they've had enough of this status quo and I've seen it with the women I've worked with. They'll come to me and say, Trace, I'm getting a weird vibe from my best friend. I'm getting um, stonewalled by my sisters or my sister-in-laws or my family or my colleagues. Do you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because your incredible courage and strength to break out of this current state of status quo and move on and take charge of your life and actually live the dream or start to live the dream is making those people incredibly uncomfortable. Because what happens is they watch you and then they judge their lives based on what they're seeing and it makes them question their own lives. So don't worry about that. It's not about you, it's actually about them questioning their lives and feeling totally uncomfortable and feeling like they're not measuring up. So that's not important. Don't let that hold you back. You're gonna get resistance. People don't like change and people don't like people around them changing because again, it's uncomfortable and we don't like discomfort, we love comfort. The state of status quo. Well, I'm telling you that the state of status quo and that comfort is gonna get you nowhere. So let's be strong, let's be courageous, and let's push through that. It's not gonna be easy, I never said it was. So what's important is, are the people, so a couple of questions, are the people in your life making you a better person? And are you making the people in your life a better, better people? So there's got to be mutual, there's got to be mutual benefits in those relationships because strong relationships support, strong relationships care, and strong relationships will call out when you're still stuck in that state of status quo and will say, Trace, come on, what are you doing? That is incredibly powerful. You need to look for those relationships and you need to minimize your time with the ones that don't serve you. So have a good look and don't be deterred by the responses you get from other people. And finally, the spiritual one, yeah? Now, I, a long time in my, for a long time in my life, have been challenged by the spiritual side. You know, I'm a numbers girl, right? I'm an accountant, financial planner. Um, I'm kind of like get to the point person, but I'm finding as I get older, it's incredibly powerful. And I'm still working on my spiritual side. And if I can say it, I'm, I, I know you can accept it, that it is incredibly powerful and it is the third step. So the emotional, the social, and now the spiritual. What is the spiritual? Well, what is your philosophy on life? What do you feel is your core values? What's really important to you? How do you perceive change? Yeah, How you perceive change will determine how much you grow as a person, your self-development, and all of those things that go in that package of creating that change for yourself. So it's really, really important to have a look at your spiritual side and unearth those things and ask those difficult questions because your values, the values that you have will either keep you stuck or you need to identify what are the values that I need not to keep me stuck to allow me to forge forward. Again, incredibly personal, maybe uncomfortable, but absolutely essential to do. I can't stress this enough and I get so passionate when I feel like jumping across the screen when I talk to you about this, but it is. I've seen it. I've seen it with the women I work with. I've seen the transformations with the women I work with. They start out with hating money to absolutely being so empowered by it that they're taking charge of their lives and forging forward at 100 miles an hour. I've seen women brought up or raised being told that they're not worthy. They're not good enough. How dare you want that? Who do you think you are? Isn't that a terrible place to be? Do you need to be there? Do you need to be stuck there? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There are no rule books that say just because you were raised that way that you've got to stay that way. Because guess what? We're all adults now. And adults, what do we get to do? We get to choose. We get to choose. So this is your choice. So I want you to think about the emotional, the social and your spiritual factors. 
you need to challenge these. You need to challenge these in order to kick status quo in the butt and forge forward. So assess, we've done. Discover, we've done. Challenge, we've just completed. Tomorrow, we're gonna to choose. We're gonna choose the ideal vision for our life. Choice is a beautiful thing and we live in a country where we do have choice. So once again, make sure to spend the time. It's self-reflection time. It's not easy, but it's incredibly powerful and the rewards will pay off. I'm Tracy Sofra. I work with career-minded professional women. Make sure you click onto my page so you hear me every day. Like it, please. I love talking to you. And make sure you register for my program that's coming up real soon that has all of these beautiful pearls of wisdom and more depth to what I'm talking about and sharing with you here today. Don't forget, if you want the freedom to live the life that you want and if you desperately seek the freedom to be yourself without reservation, then with that freedom comes responsibility. We as women are responsible in the 21st century for ourselves in every stretch of the imagination. Absolutely everything and money is no different to everything else. So make sure that we're stepping up, we're stepping up for ourselves, for our families and for the future generation. It's in our hands and we can change this. Great to see you. Have a great day.